Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Maggie of maggiesbliss.com and we are here today for soul coaching. So we're in week 18, Element of Fire. So hopefully you've been following along and if you haven't, as always, go to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to go right to a playlist. It says soul coaching and you can go start from day one or start today with what we're doing today. So it matters not. So <laughs> let's begin. So I also have an announcement. We finally, it, we're live for you to register for the Sedona Magical Vortex Retreat. It is um, SedonaGiftRetreat.com. I'll be sending a separate post out so you can sign up, but I'll put it in here too in case anyone who's watching this um, says, oh, where's that link? Um, so I also have an event on my Facebook page to help you get there as well. Um, so we are doing so many vortexes. It's me, Al Diaz, White Eagle, magic, ceremony, upliftment, activations, rites, all in the powerful Sedona. So hopefully you're able to come. We have limited space, so please sign up as soon as you can if you're wanting to come. It is October 15th to 18th. Okay, so as always, so this is week 18 in Soul Coaching, right? So we have... Uh, being present, saying yes to life is what this week is all about. <sighs> that should make you exhale, especially with the weirdness of this week. Next week we have the Aquarius full moon, so everything's kind of like, oh, what's happening? Um, Aquarians are different and they like to be different. That's a part of their mission is to be different, do different things and all, all the, the uniqueness that comes with that. So for soul coaching, as always before we explain what your exercises are for this week, what you would like to try to do, which by the way, again, it's pre being present. This is an amazing week. We're gonna do our mini meditation. So if you're ready, close your eyes, palms facing up, good receptive position, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Spine is straight, so you have a good flowing energy there. Take a nice deep cleansing breath, breathing fully and deeply in and out. Inhale through the nose, fill the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. Exhale through the nose or the mouth, release the breath down to the bottom of your belly and even pulling the navel in towards the spine so it really releases more stagnant air. Do that two more times just like that. Deep waves of breathing, breathing fully and deeply in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. As you watch your breath, you are in the present moment. Watching your awareness now behind the awareness, the light within. Take yourself into a neutral position, even imagining yourself above your body, just watching in a neutral place, not judging. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is. Feeling settled and relaxed now. Every muscle melts deep in serenity and peace. Take yourself now to a beautiful secluded beach overlooking the beautiful ocean. As the sun is setting, you can gaze straight at the sun safely. Enjoying this beautiful, life-giving ball of fire. Allow its solar codes to fill you up, every cell of your being. Feel the beautiful, warm sand under your feet. 
allowing your toes to sink deeper and deeper. The gentle breeze, enjoying the scent of the water from the ocean. Listen to the waves, energy flowing in, all that no longer serves you flowing out. In and out, the ebb and flow of life, of the universe. And now you begin your slow, gentle walk on the beach. You begin to notice a beautiful, bright blue light nearby. Coming closer and closer, that light becomes brighter and brighter and you realize this is a blue flame of light. As you step before this flame, it is cool to the touch and you are invited to step inside the blue flame. Stepping inside, you feel it flowing through your energy field, through all of your chakras from the root sacral power center, heart, high heart, throat, third eye and crown. Enveloping every cell of your being, activating your DNA and your crystalline light body, cleansing your aura. You become brighter and lighter. knowing you can always come back and stay as long as you'd like. Soon it is time to step out of the fire. It feels like a cool breeze is filling you up. You are refreshed, rejuvenated, transformed. Beginning to allow your awareness to come back now more fully into your body. Opening your eyes, sitting with that beautiful energy as I explain this week in Soul Coaching, week 18, Element of Fire. It's all about being present, saying yes to life. The only thing we have is the present moment. When Denise was diagnosed with cancer, she said that it was so easy to live in the past with thoughts such as, why didn't I take better care of myself? And it was also easy to live in the future with fear about people judging her for getting cancer, fear about the pain and suffering of cancer and what it would bring. Then one day she woke up and asked herself, what is true in this moment, right now? The truth was on that particular day, she was alive with a splendid day ahead of her to experience in any way she chose. She realized she could choose and pl to plunder through the day with regret about the past or worry about the future, or she could cherish every experience that life brought her that day. She experienced radiance and joy that day. Everything seemed to flow from that point. That moment was a turning point she believed eventually led to a remarkable remission deliverance from cancer. How awesome is that? I just love it. I get chills reading that. Okay, so our affirmation for today and this all this week, I invite the pure light of the sun into my heart. May it shine from my heart to the world. So sit before a candle this week when you have a chance, inhale and imagine breathing in the spirit and life force of fire. Visualize the purifying energy of fire surging through your entire being, burning any impurities within you. Now level one is all about being in the present moment. So we have experienced that in our journey today taking a moment so when you are in in totally in the present moment without comparing the moment to ones from the past or potential moments in the future you don't experience stress 
if you are constantly thinking, what if I can't handle this? Or I'm afraid of that might happen. Or what did she mean when she said that? You're not fully present. And the juices and fullness of life that is available in the moment um, are harder to reach you. So let's get present. So always say, what is so right now in this moment? And for example, Sarah did this exercise when she was eating pizza and said the pizza actually tasted better because instead of thinking the next bite, which is what I do, especially with pizza. <laughs> so I have, I'm trying. Um, <laughs> um, she said the pizza act actually tasted better because instead of thinking about the next bite, as she usually did, she fully tasted the various flavors of the pizza. So awesome. Uh, and we can do that with food and life. Um, she also ate less because she was aware of the fact that she was finally full. So these things can help us when we're in the natural flow of the present moment in any way. So if you did find yourself, your mind wandering, gently say to yourself, I can't change the past. Tomorrow's not here. All I need is within me right now. Um, so if you have time, level two, trust and faith. When you, when you... Within you is divine light, pure and radiant. Close your eyes and gently encourage your body to relax and your mind to become still. Imagine yourself on a sunny seashore. An angel of light floats down with golden wings of light and gently wraps the wings around you. Imagine yourself sinking into a feeling of deep surrender, relaxation, and infinite trust and faith as you are gently rocked and held by the angel. Know that you are loved and you feel this. The angels are always all around us. Oh, that's funny. That's probably why I chose my angel necklace today. You know that you are enough just as you are. You know that the light within you is expanding and becoming even more vibrant and glowing. Take at least 10 minutes to do this and write down what you experienced in your process journal sometime this week, right? Then, level three, saying yes to life if you have the most time this week. Um, your inner fire energy is your vitality, spontaneity, creativity, and life force. It's part of you saying yes to life. So when you can say yes to life in one area, it creates an open, new, an opening for new energy, new ideas, and new inspiration in other areas. Today and this week, from the moment you wake up, choose your life. Choose experience, every experience. Say yes, this is what I want right now, even if it feels forced or uncomfortable. Start there, and then you will make it to the next moment even better. So the most difficult situations can be filled with blessings if you look for them. So rather than ignoring them, repressing them, say, okay, I'm going to send light to this. I'm going to go into the fifth dimensional meditation realm, and I'm going to send healing and call in our higher selves and our angels and bring healing to whatever the situation is for the highest and best good of all always. Um, so say to yourself, this too is part of Creator's plan for me today. Whatever is happening and send blessings to it, to them, to any person, right? <laughs> um, tell yourself that no matter what happens today, you'll, you will find a way that it can be great. And then it, oh, be open to miracles. Yes, yes. So, and then you can write it down at the end of the day. What was awesome? And what was great about your day? What are you grateful for? Um, in a positive manner. Um, and it was a fabulous day. So do whichever level works for you. No way is right or wrong. Do what you can and then enjoy it. And then we'll meet next week for week 19. So I hope you're following along and having an amazing rest of your Thursday. Again, go to either maggiesbliss.com and see my upcoming events for the Sedona Retreat in October. Or you can just go right to SedonaGiftRetreat.com and you'll be able to register. We have limited space for our vortex meditations and journeys and ceremonies and rituals and activations. Oh my gosh. So much planned for you guys from October 15th to 18th. So let's get this going. Uh, have an amazing rest of your magical day. Blessed be.